Hi, everyone. Let's see, we're going to wait for some people to join us. I hope everyone is having an amazing night. Oh, hang on one second. I can hear that it's echoing back. I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. I'm going to clean up my camera also just to make sure it is the best picture that we can get. We're here in my kitchen. Excuse the mess. <laughs> but I am really glad that you all have joined me. And I am excited to talk about some boot care and shoe repair today because I'll be honest, I am in desperate need to get some of my winter shoes fixed and, you know, just get them in good condition. Now, before we get started, this is a fashion channel, so we got to talk a little bit about fashion. Um, today, I'm wearing a Ralph Lauren. Uh, it is a gray and white striped t-shirt. I'm wearing these Amazon chino shorts in navy blue. I'm just wearing my house shoes. <laughs> um, I'm also just wearing a bandana I picked up at one of the little markets here, one of the Asian markets here in Belmapan. Um, the earrings are by Amazon, and I'm wearing my leather 420 cuff that I picked up at a cannabis festival many years ago. <clears throat> All right, so let's dive in. We're talking about shoe repair. And to be honest with you guys, moving to Belize, I didn't bring a lot of boots with me because I knew that, you know, it was going to be pretty hot. Today, for example, when the states are freezing cold, um, the high today was, I think, in the 80s or so. And then the, the low tonight will be in the low 70s, mid 70s. So it's going to be, you know, it, it just hasn't gotten cold enough for me to really wear any boots. But that doesn't, you know, keep me from having to make sure that what boots I did bring are still in good condition. So that's what we're going to do today. We are going to, um, I'm going to first show you the boots that we're going to be repairing. And then we're going to just hop on in. All right, just uh, one more thing. I'm just checking my phone very quickly here. Okay, all right. I think that's good. But you know what? I said to grab some wine and I didn't do that. So let's grab some wine because that's how we do in my house. All right, I'm on the tail end of this uh, yellow tail. This is the Pure Bright Sauvignon Blanc 2023. So I'm just gonna finish this bottle, but I'm sure that we will open the other bottle that's in my refrigerator <laughs> before this whole thing is through. But I'm not gonna keep long. I don't want to have, you know, this be as long as most of my videos. So we really do need to get um, get on in here and get this repair started. How's my lips? Do I need a little, do I need a little pick up here? All right, <laughs> just a little something. Okay, now first pair of boots. You saw them in the thumbnail. They are these gorgeous um, coach boots that were actually gifted to me from my dad. Um, <clears throat> when his wife passed away, she had a bunch of shoes. So I went through a lot of her shoes and ended up 
giving this pair and I absolutely love them. They are, you know what? I'm gonna turn this light off and see if I get some better, <clears throat> some better lighting. Yeah, that's so much better, you guys. I, I know it's like that light is right over my head, but it it's just so much better. Anyway, so this is what the boots look like. They are a light velvet to them. They also have this gold buckle here and a zip. Now, these are in great condition. We're really not going to do much to these other than just dust them down. And, and, and that's pretty much it. Because, you know, I'm looking at the toe. You always check the toe. Um, make sure it's in good condition. Check your heels. Check the bottoms of your shoes. Do they need resoling? These are in great condition. I don't think she ever wore these because I've only worn them twice and they look like they've never been worn. Um, so yeah, these are an amazing pair of boots. We're going to address those. Another pair of tall boots that I brought with me are these heel boots by Isaac Mizrahi. Um, these are ages old. Um, I can see that they definitely need some dusting down, but I can't see if you can tell that it actually says Isaac Mizrahi all over the boots. I love these boots. Um, they clearly need some cleaning of the heel. They definitely need to be dusted. Um, the bottoms look pretty good. I don't think that I need to have them resold this season. And the heels are, I mean, once I clean them off, you'll see it's like a totally, let's turn it this way. It's a totally perfect heel. It barely has any wear on it. Um, I'm checking the toe. Because this is made of like a fabric, it's, um, I guess it's a cotton. You know, not much I'm going to do to these. I'm just going to maybe just dust them with a uh, cloth. And that's pretty much it. They do have this sort of a velvet um, along the back of the boots, as well as this little guy right here. Um, but yeah, these are in great condition. Um, it does have a zip on the side. And I can't really see having to do much to these other than just dust them down and make sure that they're looking good. Okay, now I want that light back. Because now I felt like it was too dark. Now I felt like you guys were too much in the dark. Okay. And yeah, I need to do a live of me cleaning all these makeup brushes back here. See all those? Ugh. Anyway, moving on. Um, another pair of boots that I brought with me are another pair of Isaac Mizrahi boots that I bought a million years ago. Um, I think I got these on eBay. And what's interesting about these boots is when I bought them, they're not exactly the same. Although they're the same boot, because it's an exotic um, skin, they aren't exactly identical, which I love that about them. Um, so yeah, this, is, this one is in pretty good condition. When I had them um, resold, many years ago for some reason they like screwed up the leather right here so i'm actually just gonna cut that out since it's just on the back and it really didn't mess up the the back side of the heel um these may these definitely need some new heel taps this season i'm not sure if you can see that but yeah the metal is starting to come through so i will definitely have to find some heel taps hopefully i can find them here in, in belize not everything is easy to find in Belize, but hopefully I'll be able to find them. That is an easy fix that anyone can do. When we get to talking about repairing these, then I'll explain in greater detail. Um, so besides having to cut this off and give them a nice, good polish, they also, the other one, the whole entire bottom is coming off. Now, I'm going to try to repair it. I bought some glue to try to see if I could fix it myself. But this is the kind of situation, take it to your cobbler, 
have them completely resole it. It's really not that expensive, but there's no cobblers here in Belmapon anyway. I'm not sure. I can't speak to all of Belize, but I know that there's no cobbler that is close to me. There may be one in Belize City, um, but I haven't found a cobbler yet. So we're not going to actually uh, do too much to these tonight. Like I said, I am going to um, cut off this piece of leather here. And then when I take them to a good cobbler, I will have them completely resole the entire thing from top to bottom. But that's the deal with these boots. <clears throat> All right, another pair of boots that I brought with me to Belize are <clears throat> these Kendall and Kylie boots. Oh, I love these boots. These are like one of my all-time favorite. Like, I couldn't leave these back in Maryland. Um, they are a full-on hip boot, which is why I have to stand back so far for you guys. But they are sequins all over head to tail. <laughs> to, what, what is it like to the top of the boot all the way to the heel of the boot is a hundred percent sequins i love these boots <clears throat> i don't wear them very often because i'm always so afraid of growing them but i am getting ready to style them up for a holiday event um so yeah look for that video coming soon I believe on Sunday, I'm going to try to post a video of holiday outfits, and I'm going to feature these boots. Now, I know that these boots are in perfect condition. I don't even really have to check them because, like I said, I don't wear them often enough for me to really get them ruined. But what you do want to do if you have a pair of boots like this, and they are starting to show somewhere, you have to take that to a cobbler. Do not try to repair these on your own. Um, if there's any sequins missing, you just want to check the entire shoe. Um, are there any sequins missing off the heels? Um, these are a very delicate, delicate pair of boots. I take care of all my boots very, very well, but these I keep wrapped, um, never with them rubbing up against each other. This is actually the way they came packaged. So um, it has this little roller here and then it's covered in paper. So that way the boot drapes over and it doesn't create a crease, which would also damage the sequins. Um, and then I put them back into the little plastic bag that they came in again to protect the sequins. And this bag, again, I, I packaged them basically the way that they came, in the same box and everything. And as you can see, this, hopefully you can see, um, this bag has little holes in it, so it allows the fabric to breathe. So there's no molding or mildew or anything like that. So you can always rest assured that your boots are getting air and not being damaged. So I literally put them back into the plastic bags in which they came and put them right back into the box. With all the packing material, <laughs> exactly the way that they came, all covered up. And I know that they will stay in good condition for a long time to come. So there's those boots. Now, the last pair of boots, I actually have three of the same type of boots. And I bought these to Belize specifically because we do have a rainy season here. And I wasn't exactly sure what that was going to look like. I have been through the rainy season now too. And it still gets hot. <laughs> so even though it's raining, it's still hot outside. So to be honest with you, I haven't really worn these except maybe once or twice in the rain. Um, and these are my hunter boots. 
I do have three of the exact style of boots. I have them in red. I have them in green and like this um, army green. And I have them in black. All right, so those are all the boots and we are going to start getting to the repairs. We're 15 minutes in and we haven't even started talking about the repairs. So let's get in. All right, I'm gonna move this back a little bit. Um, we are on my kitchen counter, so I do need to put a towel down. And, oh, you know what? I wanted to talk about um, suede boots. So let me go grab one other pair. I'm actually working in my shoe closet, um, going from bottom to top. And it just so happens that all the boots were on the bottom. So it was good for me to be able to take them all out so that I can get them all clean. But I do want to talk about suede shoes because those are very, very complicated and should be taken care of in a very specific way. So hang on one sec. All right, I have these suede little open back booties that I got from Newport News a thousand years ago. So um, these are all suede. Hopefully you can see that. You guys, listen, I have a new camera and lighting that is here in Belize, but I haven't been able to get it because this new company that I'm working with I still haven't figured out how to get my stuff to me, but from what I understand, it is actually at least in the country. So hopefully the next time I do this live next week, we will have way better lighting than we do tonight. So apologies. They will only get better as we keep doing them, right? All right, let's talk about suede repair. Um, these shoes really are in good condition for as long as I've, I've had these shoes. It's got to be going on almost 30 years. And look at the condition. I've never done anything to them. Look at the heel. Still in great condition. I've never had to have them resold. Um, when you take care of your shoes, they will take care of you and last you this long. I'm sure that any viewers that's watching this, you all probably aren't even that old. <laughs> and I have shoes older than you. That's right. Okay. Are y'all sipping? I'm sipping. Okay. Now, these are my shoe repair boxes. I keep all of my shoe repair stuff in these two boxes here. So first we're going to pull out the suede repair. I do have a suede repair. This is by Kiwi. This is the suede and new buck cleaner. Cleans and conditions all suede and new buck leathers. This is what it looks like. You can get this anywhere, even at CVS. Um, so it says we're going to read the directions because that's what you should do. Brush shoe before applying. Use in a well-ventilated area. I have all my windows open. Um, away from heat and flame, do not use while smoking, spray entire shoe evenly, do not saturate, wipe clean with a dry, soft cloth. After cleaning, use Kiwi Suede and Nubuck brush to lift the nap. So that's what we are going to do. I always keep my shoes stuffed and also I usually keep them with the um, straps in to each other so that they maintain their shape, but not through the actual hole, just kind of in there, right? So we have these all stuffed. So we're just going to, um, we're gonna brush it. And this actually is a, a brush on the top of cap of this little guy. But the first thing we're gonna do is brush. I have this great shoe brush. You always want to brush suede in both directions when you're cleaning them because that way 
um, you really get the dirt out of the nap of the suede. So we're just doing a little brushing first down in the direction that the suede is laying and then up. Okay, now I like to brush it up last because that's the way I'm going to spray it. Make sure it's all brushed. Peel everywhere that there is this way. And it's hard because, you know, your fingers, as soon as your fingers touch it, it changes, but do your best. All right. So there we go, brush up. Get your sp <laughs> suede spray. And like it says, brush it evenly. So you want to make sure that I'm gonna actually just start with the top. Okay, the sprayer is not working on here the way I want it to. But, okay. All right, spray. Why aren't you spraying? It's just dribbling out. Oh, well. It's at least getting coated. It says not to saturate it, and you don't want to saturate it. So once you get it on there, kind of brush it through now that it's in these weird drops. Okay, I'm not going to do the other shoe because that's just going to make it drippy also. But if you had a good spray on your suede spray, that would work really well. And we've got other suede shoes to clean over this series, so you'll see this again. But unfortunately, it didn't work for us tonight because, um, as you can see, it got a little bit spotty, but that's okay. I didn't saturate it, so that will actually dry and it will be fine. Um, after you spray your suede, you always want to um, protect it. Kiwi also makes this protect all spray. And it says, um, test in an inconspicuous area first, use or other artifacts must be dry prior to use. Use in a well-ventilated area away from blah, blah, blah. Allow to dry, then reapply for long-lasting protection spray again after use or worn in wet weather. So always protect your suede after you um, get them nice and clean. Moving on. The coach boots, like I said, we're not going to do much to it. I'm actually just going to take a little dish towel that I have here and just kind of wipe it down a little bit. Actually, it's probably better with the brush. I don't know what I'm thinking. Got the shoe brush, use it. Give them a nice brush. Make sure that they are Undusty. All right. That's one down. And then we're going to also just kind of go across the heel to get any dust off of it. But that is that pair of boots done. I mean, well, I only did one, but you get the drift. You get, the <laughs> you get my drift, right? You just basically getting the dust off, brushing up that velvet, making sure that it's in nice condition. So that would be what we do to that pair. Uh, the same with the Mizrahi boots. They just need a good brush. Um, if you don't have a shoe brush, this is also made by Kiwi. And I swear that this is <laughs> not sponsored by Kiwi in any way, shape or form. They just happen to make the best shoe repair 
product. So um, the Mizrahi boots, we're going to do the same. Now, I noticed on the Mizrahi boots, I've had them repaired before right here where the material is split. I don't think you guys are going to be able to see it because it is black. But um, I can see that that is... The stitch is still holding up pretty good, but I just have to keep my eye on it just to make sure that it's not coming apart. Um, you know, these boots, no joke. I, I'm sure I've had these since the 90s. And you just want to brush them nicely, get all the dust off. Um, you know, you don't have to do these in multiple directions. <laughs> you just need to go in one direction, honestly. Uh, go across that heel just to get the dust off. Also, check the heel. Um, it looks like these may need a little bit of just a little cleaning, a little cleanup. Take my little rag. All right, and just kind of clean the heel up a little bit. Hopefully you can see that. And also, you know, it, not sure if you can see the difference, but yeah, just that little bit of brushing just gets everything, any little pills on the material, on the fabric. It's just taking all that right off and really just getting them back into condition. All right, y'all, I'm starting to sweat. I'm going to turn the air on. I don't usually like to turn the air conditioning on in my apartment. Unless I have to, but you can see I'm starting to shine, right? And we still got one more pair of boots to repair. Honestly, I'll probably just pull out my neck fan. Okay, move on. Got the neck fam, we're back in business. So I hope that that gave you guys some good ideas as to how to repair um, certain elements of boot of your boots, you know, if they're made of material, just a nice brushing, just a good brushing, you know, get any dust off, get any, uh, you know, gives you time to check those heels and yeah, just give them a nice brushing. That's pretty much it. Same with any, um, suede velvet, they all need a good brushing. Right? So now let's talk about the leathers. We are not going to get too much into the repair of that other one. We know how bad that is. And clearly these all need to be resold and not an expensive thing from your cobbler, but um, you know, depending upon how good your cobbler is. <laughs> I actually had a cobbler back in Maryland that I've been going to for 25 years. And he's amazing at what he does. The first thing I want to do on these is just cut that little tab off the back of that. Not anything serious, but I just can't stand it kind of poking up like that. It's making me a little cuckoo. But when I get them resold, that will all be fixed. But it's a little bit better than a whole curly cue, right? Um, and I do have some glue. I may try to glue it down. But I also have some leather repair. Let's see. I've got everything in here. Let's go for some leather lotion. Also made by Kiwi. Sorry, y'all. <laughs> it just is what it is. Kiwi makes the best products, so you kind of kind of go with it. Um. This is the Kiwi Leather Lotion. Cleans, conditions, and nourishes for all colors. This is what this looks like. 
Um, it says remove loose dirt from article with a soft brush or cloth. Shake well before using. Apply a small amount of the Kiwi Leather Lotion onto a clean, soft cloth and work into leather. Allow article to dry several minutes, then buff with a soft bristle uh, with a soft brush or cloth. For best results, use regularly. All right, not for use on suede or nubuck. This is for leather only, okay? So be careful. Make sure you know what you are putting on what because you cannot put this on your suede. It will ruin it forever. Um, oh, let's, let's, uh, it, we'll, we'll use the brush. No big deal. We'll just use the brush just to get any dust off here. I'm telling you, you need a shoe brush. If you don't have one, what are you waiting for? All right. No, we're just, I'm not going to do these whole boots. Uh, we've already been 30 minutes and I really only wanted to go 45. So we're just going to do a small little area just so you get an idea. I've got about that much whoop, making a mess, but I have this towel down. So I'm all, I'm all good. So we're just going to do this little area here. Can you tell the difference? Can you see it? Also, you want to make sure that when you're stuffing your boots, that they don't have a crinkle in them like this, because that will ruin the boot. So um, just make sure that your boots aren't, um, unless it's supposed to be slouched, but even if they are leather and they're supposed to slouch, you know, you got to kind of keep an eye on it because it will dry in that area and there's no coming back from that. <laughs> I'm trying to find the spot on the towel where I have my stuff, but that's okay. We'll just get a little bit more. Oh, I found it. Here we go. And... We're going to work it in, work it in, work it in. And we would do the whole boot like that. I don't know if you can tell a difference, maybe on the toe, maybe the toe box area. You'll be able to see it a little better. Let's try that because it's a little dull there. Let's see what this will do. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. See that? Can you see the difference? See how much shinier it is now? And that's really what this is about. It's keeping the leather soft and moisturized, just like your skin. It needs cleaning and moisturizing. And so do your boots, so do your shoes, all of it. I can see that there's a little bit of dirt that came off. So they definitely needed this. All right, I'm going to do up here so <laughs> you can actually see what I'm doing as I'm doing it. I mean, I don't know if you guys can tell the difference, but it just really makes a difference in your shoes if you take care of them. You must, you must take care of the shoes. They are your feet. They are your transportation. You must care for them like your car. Oil it, baby it, love it. And... Uh, like it says, you know, these boots, I know I probably have not conditioned in quite some time. Gosh, you guys, I'm hoping that you can tell. Oh, I can't wait to get a better light set up. But I hope you can tell. Let's see if I can put them up next to the other pair. You see the difference? You see the difference? That's what a good moisturization will do for your boots. All right, we've got about 10 more minutes. I'm gonna show you, let's see if now that you can see the difference. Oh, 
bad lighting, bad lighting. Now that you can see the difference, let's see if you'll notice it from over here. Let's, uh, and now, like I said, these skins are totally different. So one of them is lighter than the other. That's just the way the boots were created. Um, but let's see if you can see the difference. Look at that. Look at, look at that. Just comes right back to life. Can you see? Just comes right back to life. Now look at the other side. See how dull it is? And just with that one little white, look at that. And that's what you got to do. You have to take care of your shoes. Now, this is going to be a series because I got a lot of repairs. I have bag repairs. I have bags that need so much love that they are literally breaking apart. Um, but I wanted to start with shoe repair because, you know, boots, it's that time of season that everyone is, you know, throwing on their boots and all of a sudden you pull your boots out of the closet and you're like, I can't even wear these. Like, why didn't I think to check my boots before the season to make sure that, you know, that these were in still in good condition. But that's what I um, wanted to do this video. That's why I wanted to do this video for you guys today was to show you that with just a few simple, basic products, you know, you can keep your shoes in great condition. I don't think that I got any of these products from anywhere other than like CVS. You can get them on Amazon. Um, you know, search out which one is cheaper for you. Now, this one, and you can uh, you can actually feel the difference. You can feel how moisturized they are once these are done drying because there is a little bit of a drying time, and you'll know it when when it's dry. Um, after that, what I would do is. There's a couple of different things you can do. They There's this like shine and go express, little shine and go leather kit. But what I like about it is that it's got one of these little sponges on it. And you can really just buff the shoe to a high shine. Because I don't know if you can see, but even though it's shiny, it will, as it dries, it will dull a little bit. And then that's when you get out your little sponge and you just really shine it up. I have a couple of these little sponges um, that I think came in sh other Kiwi shoe kits and you just wanna buff it and it will shine like a diamond, I promise you. It will be like the high shine of your life. Oh, Proop, we didn't talk about the Hunter Boots. Now the Hunter Boots, there actually is a kit for your hunter boots. So this is what it looks like. When I bought the boots, I got the care kit. This is what the rubber care kit looks like by Hunter. Um, and you can buy this on Amazon also, by the way. So in the care kit comes a, a boot shine it's got like the liquid in there, but it's the same type of deal that you just buff it. And as you buff it, the oil goes into the boots. Um, and it also comes with a rubber buffer. And this is, it restores the finish to the Hunter rubber products. On the boot shine, it says for your Hunter rubber boots. That's all it says. And it also comes with a, a, a cloth to do all the work, right? And I think it says Hunter on here somewhere. Yeah, on here, it says Hunter. So that's what comes in the kit. And it's basically, <laughs> you know, I don't even know that I necessarily need to go over it with you guys. Um, still got six minutes. Let's do one really quickly. First things first, 
uh, I don't even know if you can see like the 20 years worth of dust <laughs> on these boots. So the first thing I'm going to do is just wipe them down. Um, it does still have that leather lotion on it. So let me get a different towel. This is just a, another clean towel. I tried to be as prepared as possible. I had some stuff ready, but <laughs> not everything, huh? All right. So even with that, even just dusting these makes made a huge difference. I don't wear these very often, but you do need to keep these in good condition because I had a pair that I destroyed. I ruined them because I didn't keep them in good condition. These are rubber, so they need it. Um, this says restores the finish. So let's see. Um, we'll go with the buffer. We'll just go with the buffer. Let's see what the directions say. Uh, probably too small for me to read. I don't think that it's rocket science. I think you just spray it and wipe it off. Yeah, that writing is mega small. So we're just going to give a little, give a little spray. We're gonna use that cloth that we used originally. Buff them up. And I think that this actually keeps them malleable because what happened to my other hunter boots was that they dried out. Um, and then I think, you know, once it's all done, you can just use the cloth to buff it up. If you want a really high shine on them, look at that. See the difference? Like just that little bit, just that little bit just keeps them nice and conditioned. Um, so yeah, just do the whole boot. You're good to go. I will say one more thing about Hunter. When I did destroy my boots, <laughs> um, fortunately I was able to find them on Amazon at such a reasonable deal that I was able to buy three pair. Um, and yeah, check Amazon every once in a while. They have amazing deals on those boots. But what I did was I actually got a repair kit. Um, this is by Aqua Seal Repair Adhesive and Cure Accelerator by Gear Aid. And the this is supposed to fix any holes that you get into your hunter boots. That's what I've been told. Um, yeah, it says fix holes fast, quickly repair gear. And, uh, uh, yeah, it says permanently repair waders, wetsuits, rain wear, neoprene gear, nylon, and vinyl within two hours. So I got one of these kids. So if you do have a pair of hunter boots and all, all of a sudden it has a hole in it or it got dried out, there is a way to repair them. All right, you guys. Got two minutes left, so we're going to end the video here. I hope you all were sipping wine because I'm about to crack open that other bottle now that this live is over. Um, I know it was a little up and down. I know the lighting wasn't the best. These will get better as we go along. I hope you will join me next Friday, again, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. It's actually 6 o'clock here in Belmopon, but... I am doing it 7 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. And yeah, we're just going to keep going through my shoe closet. I may bring in some bags because I've got some bags that are in really, really desperate need. Um, so maybe we'll do bags next week. Let's do a few bags next week and go back to shoes. How about that? What do you guys think? Leave a comment. Let me know. Leave a comment about all this. Leave a comment about the lighting. Leave a comment about the sound quality. Leave a comment about... Anything that you can think of that will help me to improve these lives so that I can get you guys all to come out and join me. If you did come and join, thank you all so much for joining me. I really am excited to be doing these every week for you guys. And, you know, also leave a comment if there's something else that you want me to do because we've got jewelry we can repair, all kinds of things. But that's it. Thank you all so much for watching. And I look forward to seeing you guys in my next live video. And until next time, you better believe it. Bye.